Hi guys, this is Tash. How are you going? I hope you're all well. Um, I've got a finish to show you. Let's just get straight to business. Why not? A finish. Ta-da! You all knew it was coming. This is um, Bella B by Nora Corbett. And she's so pretty. She's really pretty. I'm very happy with her. She's got a lot of beads on her. Don't know how... Yeah, you can see that. There's lots of beads there. Um, she's gorgeous. So that's one down from the Bella series. Only three more to go. Do you know she took me 50 hours of work? Um, as a comparison, I estimate that the Five Life Fairies only took me 150. So she was quite a lot of work. Um, doing the Skin Over one did take a long time. And all of the purple background also took a really long time. I'm in love with that purple colour though. It's so pretty. This one. This is Wisteria. Gosh, the lighting today is terrible. Um, it's because I've got this bright light behind me and if I sit too far back it goes dark. Yeah, it's Wisteria by the Karen Collection Water Lilies. But it's pretty. I like this very much. So I'll move on to another one. I have more fabric here and the other half is in the drawer. I think the next one I do might be Bella Hydrangea. I'll leave my favourite one for last. Um, so what else? Oh, today is New Doctor Day. <laughs> um, I just heard it's Jodie Whittaker, who I've never heard of. So I hope she's good. As long as she's better than Capaldi, we'll be fine. Because um, I'm not a fan of Capaldi. I like Smith. He's my favourite. Um, New Doctor Day, so I'm wearing my Exploding Tardis shirt. Um, I want a needle minder, an exploding TARDIS needle minder, uh, no, an exploding TARDIS grime guard, that would be good. I want a we weeping angel needle minder, that would also be good. <laughs> I'm not a huge Whovian. Um, I haven't even watched this last season, I've only seen one episode, the puddle episode, puddle girl. Um, but yeah, and I've got some catching up to do. I think it's because I'm not a fan of Capaldi. I got really into it when Smith was the doctor. I liked Smith. Okay, um, so today is the 17th. I have to lean forward so that the light goes normal. Um, today is the 17th of July. It's Monday. I'm on my roster day off. Yay! Um, so I'm filming at home during the day. It's like midday, which is why there's a terrible light behind me. Um, so it's new start day in Stitch Mania because I'm doing Year of Starts, which is a new start every month on the 17th of each month. And I'm trying to I have like a million things I wanted to start. Ah, oh, the light. I have so many things I wanted to start. Um, and it was hard to choose. But I'm trying to keep my new starts to smallish things that I can finish within the month that I start them in. Um, you know, just so that they don't carry over and I don't end the year with 12 new starts from, <laughs> from year of starts. So the one I'll be working on is one of the charmed stocking ornaments from Mill Hill. I got these in my last one, two, three stitch order. Um, and they're going to be gifts for um, family friends at Christmas time, like probably Tim's parents, Tim's grandmother. You know, you go to parties, you just want something little to give, so that'll be nice, I think. There's my face, lighten up. Okay, so this one I'll be working on because it was the first one I pulled out. I have four of them. You can see on the back, uh, there's six in this series. I only have four of them. Um, but if you look, let's not show you the chart, but here it says Charmed Stocking Series 2. So there's also a Series 1 apparently. So yeah, it looks like I have more to collect. I also really like those Charmed Faces, the Santa Faces, they're nice. Um, the problem with some of them is in Australia it's not winter at Christmas. So the snowflake ones and the, the ones, you know, riding in the sleigh and stuff like that, they don't really, I don't really feel like they relate to us. I do like them, they're pretty. And I, they still do bring Christmas to, to mind, but they're just not relevant to Australia. Um, and the other thing is, I'm not religious, and I know that most of the people I hang around with are also not religious, so, you know, the angels and nativity sort of ones also don't really relate. So I really like these stocking ones, they'll be nice. Probably Christmas trees would be good too, Santa faces, they're all good. Okay, so that's what I'll be stitching on today. Working on this amazing perforated paper that everybody hates. I don't hate it. It has its use. It has a, it's very, look, you can see right through it. <laughs> you can see my Mirabilia pixie right there, right through it. Um, yeah, so, 
That's all. Is that all I'm going to say? Well, I'm going to give you a random fact about me. I've been writing down random facts in my notebook. Um, and I'm having a really hard time coming up with 20. I, it's been like a, a week I've been thinking about them and I can't. I'm just not interesting enough. But I do have one for today. So, last time, yeah, last time I told you that I used to do nursing and then I did games programming. So, now I'm going to tell you about, um, when I was a kid, my dad was in the Navy. Um, so we moved house a lot. The house I live in now, this is the 23rd, I think. The 23rd house I've lived in. Um, I went to nine schools. My brother went to 11. That was very impressive. <laughs> um, I, as I was listening to Flosstube, I heard a lot of people say that, actually, that they, they've lived in, you know, 20, 30 houses and all over the place. Um, I also lived in the UK for about two and a half years. Um, when I was... We moved there when I was six. That was about eight when we came back, so I think it was two and a half years. Um, and I lived in West Sussex, uh, Chichester. No, not Chichester. Eastergate, West Sussex. And I went to a school called Great Ballard. So if anyone's from around there, say hey. Hey. <laughs> um, I also lived in the USA. Uh, when I was about 10 or 11, we moved to the US for three years. Um, and this is all because of Dad's work. When we lived in the UK, Dad um, uh, joined a, an English ship, um, I don't know why, and he actually went to the Gulf, the Gulf War over there at the time. Um, <laughs> it was funny, when he came back, he, we, were, we weren't expecting him till the afternoon, and he came back, he was walking up the driveway, and my brother was looking out his bedroom window, and he started calling out, Mom, Tasha, everyone, Dad's not dead, he's coming home. <laughs> um, yeah, that was really cute. I think he was, if I was six, he was four, so... It was very cute. Um, yeah, then I lived in the USA um, for three years. I was 11 when we got there. I went to school there for one year and then I started going to boarding school in Perth um, and flying. I, j I would just fly to Perth for the school term and then fly home for every holidays to Washington, D.C. We lived um, in Virginia um, in a suburb called Vienna, which is really close to Great Falls and Langley and that sort of area. I went to Great Falls Elementary, and then I went to Cooper Middle School, um, and then I went, started going to boarding school. So that was three years um, from the age of, um, yeah, 11 to 14, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I stayed in boarding school for a few years after my family came back to Australia. So I've, I've done a lot of traveling. I've been, I think I've been to almost 40 states in the US, not Alaska, um, a few, we missed a few. You know, so I've been to Mount Rushmore, Grand Canyon, um, all the big cities, you know, seen a bunch of landmarks. I've been to lots of places in Canada. I think we went to Canada three or four times. Um, when we lived in the UK, we drove all across Europe. So I've seen a lot of Europe. I've been to Egypt. I've been to Southeast Asia, Singapore, um, South Africa. I've done a lot of traveling. I'm really lucky. Very lucky. Hawaii, of course, um, and I love traveling. It's it's very different when you're older and you're not just being pulled along by your parents and you get to choose where you're going. Um, it's a lot harder and a lot scarier, um, but it's it's amazing. It's wonderful seeing how different people live in different parts of the world. Yeah, so that's an interesting thing about me. I lived in three countries, and the longest house I ever lived in was the house I owned in Sydney was an apartment with my sister we lived there for four years and that's the longest I've ever lived anywhere so yeah that's a little bit about me and that's all I have to say for today I think I'm gonna go and find out about this new doctor Jodie Whittaker as long as she's better than Capaldi she'll be good <laughs> all right I'll see you guys next time bye bye one more thing I forgot to say that after I finished this last night I um it was only 10 o'clock, so I'm like, I've got an hour left to do stuff in, so I FFO'd Sir and Slut Muffin. And now they're hanging above my bed, in the, our bed, in the bedroom. And I'll put in a picture here. And I really like them. They're so dorky and dumb and kind of horrible and adorable. Okay, that's all. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.